Hello, my name is Von Locke and it is time to lock on target. Today I'm going to create a tutorial to show you how I make uh, redeems for uh, cosmetic changes to my character. The redeems themselves will trigger when a channel point is selected and after the channel point is selected a certain period of time will go by before my character will return to its default state. I will show you an example of this here with my most popular redeem, Chibi Lock. Here I am now as Chibi Lock and if my viewers uh, select the uh, Made Lock command you'll see that I will become a, uh, a made character. Next, I'm gonna show you how you can create your cosmetic change for both a PNG model as well as a live 2D model. Uh, very firstly, we need to get the app, uh, which is on mixitupapp.com. I will have a link in the description uh, for, your, uh, for your ease. Uh, the Mix It Up app has a great many different functions if you're not already using it, including chat moderation, uh, there's a lot of interactivity, and we're going to be using it for the command function. Uh, once you've downloaded Mix It Up and you've set it up as a mod on your, uh, on your Twitch channel, please make sure to follow the instructions uh, on the website for setting that up. Uh, we were going to pull up the Mix It Up app itself. Uh, you will always start in chat, but we want to come down to Twitch channel points. As you can see, I already have the Made Lock uh, reward set up here. Uh, if we select the command, we can come over to Edit Command, and we can see what it looks like inside uh, the the command itself. There are four functions. You don't have to have chat message, but I prefer it. I like uh, to announce in chat who it is that redeemed. Uh, then you have the input uh, command. You're going to have a wait command. This is very important. Uh, if you do not have a wait command, your model will uh, change costume and uh, either completely stay that costume your entire stream or if you have two input commands to change and change back, it'll only be there for just a second, just as long as it takes the system to input the commands. So these three are essential if you want it to be a temporary redeem. Now I'll show you what this looks like for the PNG model, and then we're going to create one uh, for my live 2D model. First, uh, I use VideoTube Mini for the uh, uh, for my uh, live my, for my PNG model, uh, where you can create uh, several different versions of the. Uh, you can put in several different versions of your model, uh, normal lock, made lock here, for example. Uh, but what's really important about this is that we have a uh, keyboard shortcut for each model. This is important for our redeem. Uh, I have Alt F5 for uh, normal lock, normal shibi lock, and then Alt F7 for made lock. I uh, highly recommend you set this up for a two key function. Make sure it's a key bind. Uh, this is important because if you're playing a game, you'll find that you'll hit some kind of key somewhere on your keyboard and it'll cause an unexpected cosmetic change. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, display how this works. We've got Alt F5 for normal lock, Alt F7 for made lock. Uh, when we go ahead and expand what these commands do, if someone selects the redeem, uh, a command is going to pop uh, saying what we want it to say and then afterwards it's going to input a keyboard function. This is keyboard F7 
and we have Alt selected, which means it's going to do both Alt and F7 to uh, create the action. We also have a wait command, which we've set up for 900 seconds. It counts it in seconds. Uh, nothing we can do about that. Uh, then, after that 900 seconds ends, we're going to have it select the keyboard function F5 and the Alt, Alt F5 function as well. Um, this is the long and short of the version that we have for our uh, our PNG tuber. And I will I'll also include a link to VideoTube Mini uh, in the subscription if you're not using this for your PNG. Highly recommend it. Uh, you get uh, four cosmetic features. You do not have to use four cosmetic features. You can just do the two uh, with your eyes open and mouth closed and eyes open mouth open um, and just leave these two blank and this will function for just a two image PNG. Highly recommend this fun this program. Um, I've been using it ever since I've been PNG tubing. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and return back to mix it up and we're going to make a similar function uh, for our glasses here. Uh, if we go ahead and hit a certain key function, uh, we can take my glasses off and we can take it on. My viewers want to be able to take my glasses off, so we're going to oblige them. Uh, let's go ahead and take a quick look at um, VTube Studio so you can see what this looks like. Over here in VTube Studio, uh, we're going to select the gear icon. Um, you want to come all the way over here to the, uh, the, 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 the action scene here and uh, we're going to go to our expressions editor. Uh, in this particular case we have eyeglasses on off. Unlike uh, uh, VideoTube Studio, uh, we can go ahead and use just the one command. We have left control, left shift, and N, the number 9. Uh, this will allow us to go ahead and use a three key function that have to be selected to activate uh, the, the, the glasses command. And because it is the same function to take them on as well as off, uh, the command will be a lot easier uh, in mix it up. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and create a new command. Now you can add a command to an existing reward. So if you've already created the reward in your channel points, that's great. Um, but if you haven't, you can also go ahead and create a new channel point. Uh, let's go ahead and pull that up so you guys can see what that looks like here. So these are my channel points. And we're going to create new channel point reward. Uh, we need to give it a name. We're going to call it Glasses. And there we have it. You see that it created a new channel point. Uh, this is instructing you to make, uh, you can make changes over here on uh, Twitch. Uh, unless you want your cost to be one uh, redeem, uh, you will want to go ahead and make some changes in here. And I'll show you some changes that I personally recommend uh, when we have a little bit more work done. So let's go ahead and edit this command. Very firstly, we, I do like to go ahead and do a uh, chat message. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and come down here to the bottom. This is where we add our commands. Right now it's blank. It does nothing. If someone were to redeem it, it would do nothing. Um, but we want to come down to action. We're going to go ahead and uh, find chat message. And uh, we're going to... Uh, save oh sorry add we need to add it uh, so that we have it um, in the box here um, we're going to I want it to display the username there is a uh, web page that you can reference for the different kinds of commands that you can put in and what different functions do uh, uh, for mix it up app 
uh, it's a wiki page. Uh, what uh, I like to do is I like the user who summoned to go ahead and have their name uh, shouted out. So we're going to do uh, dollar sign user name. And then I like to go ahead and put, uh, you know, uh, a cute little message there for chat. So let's say removed glasses. Um, <clears throat> and that's everything we need for this particular command. Uh, we don't want to, uh, we, you could set it as a send as streamer, you could set it up as a whisper, um, but I just want it to show up in chat, so we're just going to leave it as is. Um, next, we need to go ahead and add another chat message. We need to add another command. Uh, this one is going to be the input command. Again, very important that we uh, we make sure we're selecting input, keyboard, and mouse. So uh, let's add that. And our command for glasses is going to be it's going to be the uh, keyboard number nine. But we also have uh, Control and Shift. So uh, we're going to have it select Control, Shift, and the number 9. And this will uh, make it so that our glasses are added or removed. Uh, we need to add another command yet. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add a wait. Um, a wait uh, winds up being the amount of time uh, that you want to have your um, is the amount of time you want to have your character uh, or your, your cosmetic change stay in effect. Um, I did 900 seconds for uh, Maidlock. Uh, this will give us uh, some time to have the cosmetic that everyone wants. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and add another keyboard command. Uh, this again can be, if you're using VTube Studio, uh, it can be identical to this one up here. If you're using video uh, for your PNG, it'll be whatever your other command is for your other model. There we go. And we can save it. Uh, but I always highly recommend testing the command before you go live. So let's do a test. There we go. Glasses are removed. Now we give it another 15 minutes and my glasses will return. I could make you wait, but I already know it's going to happen. So we'll not do that. Let's go ahead and go into the manage rewards and I'm going to make some recommendations here as well. Uh, once you go into the edit, choose your cost. I'm gonna do 350 uh, space doubloons. Um, you can upload images as you need, uh, various different ways to do that. But I highly recommend you place a cooldown limit. The reason for this is because if you, uh, have, if you leave this unchecked, you could have one viewer uh, enter the command to remove your glasses and another viewer enter the same command back to back. If you're using Video Tube uh, Studio for your PNG, it'll mean that one viewer will have wasted their channel points. If you're using the, uh, uh, if you're using VTube Studio where it's the same command, you'll have someone just undo the glasses command, and unless that's what you really want, it'll generate chaos. So we're going to go ahead and put a 15-minute cooldown on this. This should allow for the time for the glasses to return and someone else to go ahead and have a chance to, to complete the redeem. So there we go. We now have our glasses command. Uh, we, can have, uh, we can now have our viewers remove it uh, or add it whenever they want. I hope this video was helpful for you. I want to thank you for taking the time to view it. I hope this helps you uh, with your channels and helps you build um, a uh, fun and exciting environment for your viewers. Uh, if you like the video, uh, please feel, give me a like, a follow. Um, it will support my channel. 
I don't know if I'll do future uh, tutorial videos, but if you like watching Destiny streams, if you like watching me get scared on Thursdays, or if you just like to watch a VTuber play chess, uh, please consider giving me a follow and checking me out on Twitch. I want to thank you very much for your time. I hope this helped, and you have a fantastic day.